Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I'm hearing, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Um, the energy that you are in um, is fiery, yet unstable. And when I say unstable, it's not a bad thing. It's almost like the I don't give a fuck energy, where you're like, Oh, you want to change on me? You want to do this to me? Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck. Even if the, if these people are close to you, you're like, I don't give a fuck. You know your worth, Sagittarius. You have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. You know your worth. You know your worth and you act like it. Oh, you want to leave me? Oh, there will be uh, like a huge line waiting for you to fuck off so that they can apply to be taking your place. You know, like a bit sassy, a bit unpredictable, unstable. You could be saying something and then people are like, Oh, oh you heard me. And you're like, I don't give a fuck. What do you expect? You're, you are in such a fire energy. Fire energy. So much fire here. Okay. And maybe it's because of Aries season. You know. Aries, fire. And you are fire. So the energy is working really well for you at this time. Where you're getting a lot of attention. Um... You're not scared to show it. You're not afraid to show your worth. You're not afraid to speak your mind, even if it's, even if it seems like it's going to cost you losing someone. No, I don't give a fuck. You don't want to hear my truth? Get the fuck out of my life. You know? Okay, I was going to say this. You're not... Now, here's the thing. How do I explain it? Because it's so complicated to even explain. Okay, so you are selective about... You are selective in, I want to say. And the people that you're showing this I don't give a fuck energy to. Meaning, if you sense any type of low vibration or draining energy from someone, you will be like, it's a bit calculating. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit calculating. So what I see here is that you could seem like you don't give a fuck but you have well thought about what to do now, i don't know how to explain it it seems like you're calculating but not seeming to be calculating like you could be saying something to someone having something else in mind. Does that make sense? In a way, it's almost like two birds, one stone energy. You know what I got? Like, I'm getting like the image of, you know, the, the arrow and the bow? You know when there is a move? I don't remember where I've seen it, but I've seen it somewhere, I swear. Now, let me not knock anything out here. But there is... There is a move where you can shoot out two bows in almost like split second difference. That's what you're doing. To hit the same target. And the first arrow could be 
underlying the second one. Meaning, people that are seeing the second arrow are not seeing the first arrow. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Like, because I'm trying to explain this energy, this, and I, and I was hoping that this analogy would help. You are hitting your target with two arrows. One is one that they are aware of and one they're not. And what they see is the second arrow, but they have no idea that there is another, which is the first arrow. And in that you're calculating. You're like, well, if I'm gonna miss one, I better hit two. So you don't miss. And you don't miss let me tell you, especially with this energy, you're very empowered. And again, it could be the Aries season that's giving you this energy because the sun is in Aries, right? Hmm. Crosswatcher, if you're a fucking one of Sagittarius, be careful. <laughs> that's all I can say. Don't, don't say I didn't warn you. Because we also have here the King of Swords. This is no king you want to mess with. This is a king that's ready to cut throat. That's ready to strike, if that makes sense. And that is still you, Sagittarius. You could have air in your chart. But nonetheless, You are in this fire and air energy. You don't fuck with that. Fire and air are masculine energy. Meaning aggressive, action oriented. Two arrows kind of energy. <laughs> two, uh, two, two birds, one, one stone. Yeah, I think that's the same. Let's continue because there is something else here lurking. You are so, so much in your masculine energy, Sagittarius. And when I say masculine energy, it doesn't mean male, female. Okay, I fucking hate that shit. Oh my FM, oh my fuck M. I don't give a fuck. That's 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 bullshit, you know. Uh, but anyways, I, I don't care what people think. Uh, you know, you want to believe whatever you want to believe. Divine masculine, divine feminine. <laughs> My other half complete me. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm tapping into your energy. It's like very feisty, fiery for sure. Um, blunt for sure and it's um, it's again I don't give a fuck energy now here is what I'm saying for you Sagittarius you are in you are in your masculine energy to the point where you can be perceived aggressively or can come on too strong but I don't see you wasting it on people so much. I see you aiming it towards your craft, towards your work, your lifestyle, what you want to develop and grow and invest in. There's a lot of action from you. You like you are in this aiming the bow and shooting for your goals. Like this is this is you activating the action within, so without, right? There is something that you could be wanting to accomplish that is calling for your soul. I'm also getting that. Okay. So far, this is like descriptive of who I'm connecting to. 
could be the Sagittarius Collective anyway. I see that you are single. Oh my God. Like, Sagittarius, even though that you are single, okay, so clearly this is for, for the single Sagittarians. Even though you're single, you still attract drama from people. Yeah. They want something that they think you possess. But they don't understand that you they cannot possess who you are. <clears throat> because the high priestess is your spirit, is your connection to the divine. So they want to possess your spirit. That sounds freaky, but hear me out. They want to possess who you are, meaning the way you operate, the way you do things, they want to be that. Like these people are fighting you or maybe even stirring shit up in your energy for no good reason. For you, I mean, you know, you haven't done anything, but they're stirring that shit up because they want something that you have. And it's not material. They want what you possess, and it's not material you get. It's something to do with your destiny, your spirit, your powers, perhaps. Who knows? Like, they, they, there is something that they cannot buy, they cannot find, and you got it. They want it. And it doesn't feel like it's a one person situation here. It feels like multiple people to say the least. It could be as, as much as five people because we have the five of wands, you know, five energies. And I have a cut here. It could be some, some people that you've already cut out of your life. They're trying to get close to try to figure out how you have the power that they are eyeing. And you might not even know what they want. You might be like, what's up with this person? What is their problem? It's who you are. That's what they want. Like you... You could be projecting the energy of your powers onto people and they're like noticing it and they don't like it. They want it, but they don't want it from you. They want it to emit from them, from themselves. I don't know how to explain it besides that. Hopefully that resonates with you. Hmm. There is a Virgo energy here that is um, in love with you. That they are either communicating with you or wanting to communicate with you. They seem to be... Um, Indecisive about something though. What is it? You could have been with this person before. But they're not giving up. They're going to make some type of offer in the future. Towards a new cycle. We have the world here. Okay, yeah, this is still here. Okay, so they seem to be in, like, this is the person that you've been with before. And here is why I know this. Because there are emotions 
or things that they made you feel, things they said, did, whatever, that they wish to take back. Meaning regret, shame, feelings. Like uh, regretful or shameful kind of feelings. Like they have these emotions that are attached to your energy. And that's how I know you've been with them because they, they seem to be afraid or reluctant to make a move towards you because they know how much they have done or what they've said, what they've done that hurt you or hurt the connection, let's say, because it's their loss, right? I mean, right? You lose a Sagittarius, like, right? Non-biased. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's what's happening here, Sagittarius. This person wants the Ten of Cups with you. But they have the five of cups. You see, you see how that makes them indecisive to move towards you. So but it's not going to stop them. Like this is this is still the energy that they will come in with. A lot of cups here for this person. You also have the king of cups. So they definitely have feelings for you, okay? Huh. But it's, it will be in your future, you know? It will be in your future, meaning that this person will finally decide to be courageous to move towards you in the future, tell you how much they love you or something like that. And their intention is to begin something new with you, meaning another cycle. That's their intention, to have the world with you. Maybe literally, maybe figuratively, where they begin a new cycle with you. Okay. Wow. And we have the sun. I mean, <clears throat> and the Wheel of Fortune. I smell something burning. It's weird. I know nothing is burning, it's the incense. But for a second, it smelled like burning, as in like wood burning. I mean, you could go on a vacation with, oh my God, this is still here. The two of pentacles, still here. I feel like this can go both ways. Meaning, if this person doesn't come in right. I mean, there is a part of me that wants to say, even if they come in right, there will be some of you that will be like, a little too late, bitch. And I don't know, like I'm shaking my legs. You can't see it, obviously, but maybe you can see it because I'm shaking my legs. They could be nervous. They could be nervous to approach you. <laughs> I mean, Sagittarius can be scary. I know that. But uh, <clears throat> I feel like here's the thing. Okay, so instead of instead of saying what I think is going to happen, I want to see how you feel about this person, Sagittarius. <laughs> you have your guard up guard up or like whoa you got too close there but then i don't know if you saw it but i dropped it and then it became in reverse you might lower your guard with this person eventually you might start with who oh, what is your purpose and they're like please 
Sagittarius, I can't, I can't live without you. Please, Sagittarius, have me back or else. And you might be, some of you might be like, go ahead. <laughs> and some of you are like, okay, fine. I'm going to lower my guard. Let's see what you got. So it really feels like there is, there are two types of Sagittarians here. One that will choose right or left and one will choose the other way. And that will be life changing, whatever decision you make. Meaning, if you accept this person back, you will have a good beginning. It will be a beginning that will be just with the justice card here. It will be a beginning that will be unlike the previous cycle or cycles that you've been with them. And if you don't accept this person, you will move on, you will heal. It's like, it feels, says Sherius, <clears throat> that whatever you decide, you'll be okay either way. I feel like the other person though, if this person gets rejected, not that you care about that, if this person gets rejected by you, yeah, I mean, Six of Pentacles, they will eventually move on, but I feel like they will pass on their traumas. <laughs> to their next generation, meaning if they have children, they will take that frustration out on them. And if they will have children in the future, they will take that frustration out on them as well. It feels like they will pass it on, meaning instead of healing, they will pass it on. It will be a traumatic rejection for them. And I feel as I am saying this, I, I can hear someone say, I don't give a fuck, you know, let them burn. I don't give a fuck. So some of you really hate this person or let me, I mean, maybe not hate, hate is a strong word. Maybe some of you actually hate them, but it feels as if like, you don't give a fuck. Like just, I don't want anything to do with this person kind of energy. Fair enough. Whatever this person did probably deserved it. But I can feel their nervous energy. It's like, it's very strong. Okay, like, I'm tired of shaking my legs. It's very strong. And I've done legs day today, so, uh, you know, I don't have, I don't have energy to, to give in a way to the other person to make me nervous because I'm already worn out physically I mean I'm gonna ask what you should do because it feels like this energy is telling you that it's up to you it's up to you if you want to accept this person for another cycle to prove themselves or not. It's up to you. But I want to see. Let's say, should the Sagittarius give this person a chance? Another chance, I want to say. This is a yes card, okay. And you have the page of swords, meaning give this person a chance just enough to see what they do with it. You know what I mean? It's it's not like, oh yes, I accept you back. Let's let's be lovers, let's be together forever. You know, it's not telling you to do that. It's telling you to test the water. See if this person really means what they say and say what they mean. You know? 
Let's see what's at the bottom. Yeah, I feel like if you give this person a chance, with time, they will prove themselves and in that you will accept them back. Meaning you don't have to accept their offer right away. Uh, for example, if they come to you and say, let's start a new, like, let's forget the past and start a new. You can say, well, show me what you got. But I'm not going to accept anything. I'm going to think about it or something like that. I'm going to, I'm going to see if your intentions really align with your actions or I'm going to see if your actions align with your intentions. And maybe you don't want to say that to them. Just say, let's be friends and see how it goes. If it goes well, then I might consider something like that. And I'm feeling a lot of resistance and I feel it's your energy, Sagittarius. It's, it's kind of telling me, no, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> Fair enough. But there are people that could be open for that. And so don't, don't, you know, like if, if this is not something that you, you want to do, of course, I'm not telling you to forcibly to do something, you know? This is your life. You decide what you want. And it feels as if the universe is also giving you this chance of deciding for yourself. Because you do have that option. You do have that. Like, your life will be blessed with or without this person. You remember when I said it's their loss at the beginning? It's kind of like that. You're not losing anything. They are the ones that are um, speaking to me through this reading, kind of like trying to persuade you to soften your heart towards them. But if you want this person, Sagittarius, is telling you that it's looking good. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, the World, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Uh, they have the Hermit, which is what gave me the Virgo energy, and you have the Knight of Cups for them. These, these are the cards that I've started their energy with. So it looks good. But your energy towards them is like, no, no. And that's what's probably making them nervous. And making them feel as if like, uh, it's like this person is undecisive when it comes to you because your energy towards them is is like no and they can feel it even if they're not spiritual you, you know um people don't have to be spiritual to kind of feel you or you know if they're smart and they know body language how you speak and how you're speaking to them they they know they can sense that you're not up for it and it's making them uh, reluctant to approach you, even scared to approach you, I would say. I'm going to continue this reading on my website. The link will be in the description box. I will see you there.